Okay. Hi, everybody. I see we do have a couple um, people popped in, which is great. Thank you so much for joining us this evening for the Business and Economics webinar. Um, I'm Katie Fennell, the Director of Admission at Marietta College, um, and I'm here to moderate this awesome session with Dr. Della Meester, the Department Chair of the Business and Economics Department. So we are really excited to go through some of your questions. I thought of some questions on my own, but again, feel free to pop in the Q&A and the chat boxes if you have any questions that we haven't covered about business, um, our business program, uh, but also about admission. I'm happy to answer those questions as well. Um, but to kind of get us started, Dr. Delamister, do you want to kind of introduce yourself, how long you've been at Marietta, some of the things that you do on campus? Sure, sure. Uh, I'm the uh, chair of the Business and Economics Department. Uh, I've been in this role for four years now, but I've been at Marietta College uh, uh, way before Katie was born. Uh, <laughs> I, first, I first came here in 1986, right out of grad school, <laughs> fell in love with the place and, you know, I wouldn't trade it for anything. So I've been here a long time, and I'm an economist uh, by training, and, uh, and now I'm the uh, chair of a, a great department uh, full of uh, some wonderful people from all sorts of different backgrounds, from mm -hmm. traditional academics to uh, real-world business experience and executives that have come back into academia. So really excited to be here. So I have a couple questions. And the first one I have to ask, just because of the crazy times that we're in right now, um, I know, Marietta, we've been doing online learning now for three, four weeks. I, I don't, time is a strange thing <laughs> at this point. I never know what day it is. But how have the online classes been going and leading into finals? What has the experience been like? Uh, you know, it's, it's different for different faculty members. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the word on campus is Zoom. You know, that's yeah. the, uh, you know, what we're doing here. Um, uh, I know I'd say about half of the faculty are using Zoom to some extent, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, for live sessions or, or recorded sessions. Uh, myself, I, I'm teaching three classes this semester, and I've used uh, Zoom for live classes that I record. And, you know, it's up to the students if they want to attend uh, those sessions. I know this is a strange time for everybody, and so they've got lots of different demands on their time, whether it's family, you know, work even, and, and their studies. And so we're trying to be very flexible in that. And so uh, I've noticed that, at least in my classes, um, you know, the, the typical attendance is not as it you know, would be in a face-to-face -face class. You know, and that's because people are you know, trying to take advantage of that flex time and just watching the lectures later on. Yeah. Um, but uh, so there's that Zoom uh, contingent among the faculty, but then others are, you know, sort of, you know, sort of learning what to do, whether it's through email, uh, more asynchronous learning and uh, strategies. So it, it's, it's a mixed bag, but uh, I, I think uh, for the folks who uh, are first time Zoomers, it's, it's, it, it, they're having lots of fun. Let me tell you that. At least the faculty <laughs> are. Well, I will say I love your background. So for those who don't know, that's Thomas. That's where it all, where it all happens, the business and econ department. So I love that. <laughs> yeah, thank you, sure. Yeah, so when I think of the business and econ department, I mean, I feel like that is just a department that is ever growing. I feel like there's always new majors, new programs. So how many majors are actually in the B&E department? And what are some new programs that we've had in the past couple of years? Yeah, I mean, we have 11 different majors. And, you know, frankly, I don't think there's another liberal arts college our size that can really say that. Mm -hmm. you know, 11 different majors. And, you know, and it gets into the various functional areas of typical business. We have uh, two accounting majors, uh, one of which is called a public accounting, which is a 150 credit hour major that's designed to prepare you to become a CPA. Uh, mm -hmm. To become a CPA, you have to have 150 credit hours of college work before you can even sit down to take the CPA exam. So we offer that as a, as a special program. And then we have finance, marketing, management, international business. We have um, sport management, land and energy management, supply chain management, uh, <laughs> entrepreneurship, and of course, econ, my favorite. 
Yes. Um, the newest kids on the block are entrepreneurship and uh, supply chain management. Those just came on board uh, last fall. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're really excited about those two majors. Um, before that, uh, let's see, our land and energy management program was is fairly new as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have 11 majors and uh, uh, eight minors because every student that comes to Marietta College now you have to have an area of secondary concentration. So whether that's a, a minor or a certificate, um, you know, you have to explore and try to pair up your major with uh, some other area of secondary interest. Mm -hmm. So kind of going off of that, and I know as an admission counselor, I get this question all the time, um, or I guess this, this concern, not really a question, but um, when I ask students, you know, what are you interested in studying? I get the answer business all the time. Yeah. Great. You know, do you know what kind of business you want to study? I, I really have no idea. So for a student coming in, knowing that they want to pursue business, but maybe you don't know where to start, you know, how do you work with that student to help them figure out what major or what concentration they should focus on? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, uh, there's a set of core courses in our programs. Uh, basically every major except econ uh, has a set of common courses that all the majors are gonna take. That's mm -hmm. uh, econ, micro and macroeconomics. There's accounting, finance and management accounting. Uh, there's intro to management, intro to marketing, intro to finance. So there are these introductory level courses in all of the disciplines and uh, essentially, those core finance, marketing, management, accounting, and econ, all of our majors have to take that. Um, what, so whether you're sport management, land and energy management, um, international business, you're all taking the same courses your first couple of years. So if you're not sure, you know, uh, what area of business you'd like to specialize in, there, there's plenty of time to, you know, sort of sample the different areas, and then you can easily switch. I mean, you, you have to make a determination by uh, the start of your junior year. Okay. At the end of your sophomore uh, year, you have to finally declare a major. But um, so even at that point, when you're a junior, you can easily switch in some cases to other majors. Perfect. So I know a lot of students will, you know, major or minor with a couple things in the business department. Are there any popular combinations that you see of students kind of pairing up different majors or even outside of the B&E department? Any common common patterns that you see? You know, frankly, that's what we'd like to see is people go outside <laughs> the B&E department. Mm -hmm. um, we do have certain college rules uh, regarding, you know, the number of overlap hours. You know, each, mm -hmm. each uh, major that you choose, you could double major as well. I mean, we've had even students triple major, you know, God bless them, you know, but- uh, Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, when you do that, when you double major, you have to make sure that uh, each major has, I think it's 18 hours at the 300 level or higher. That's different from the other major. You know, and inside b &E, that can be a challenge. Sure. There are some, you know, there are combinations that will work there. You know, we have flexibility in terms of, you know, doing some creative substitutions, but we really would like you to, you know, take advantage of the uh, liberal arts, you know, mm -hmm. so if you're, if you can write well, you know, do English, you know, do some writing, or uh, if you have that artistic flair, you know, maybe graphic arts would be a great combination for a marketer. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to go on to graduate school, uh, picking up, you know, like, like in uh, economics, mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of math double majors or minors in math. So, you know, depending upon what your career path is, that'll sort of guide, you know, which, how you pair up your uh, secondary concentration. Okay. Well, I know you mentioned earlier about, you know, now students have to have that secondary concentration. Um, and it's also required for students to have an experiential learning opportunity, right? So, Thinking about the B&E department, you know, what are some ways students can get involved with research or maybe different internships that students have had, um, study abroad, you name it. You know, what, what are some things that your students are doing? Sure, sure. Good question again. 
um, let's see, three of our majors actually require internships. That's the mm -hmm. sport management major. They actually require two internships. Our land and energy management major requires an internship, as does the, the new supply chain management major requires that. Uh, you can take internships for credit for any of the other majors. Uh, in, in one case, you can, in finance, you can use the internship to count as the capstone experience. All of our majors have a capstone course or experience uh, that's required. That's true for all of our students at, at Marietta College. Um, so besides internships, um, which most students, by the way, they, they'll take the internship during the summertime, typically. You know, they'll go back home where they have business contacts and they'll, you know, um, use those contacts to arrange some sort of uh, internship experience. Uh, but there are opportunities during the semester uh, on campus or in the local community here in Marietta. So uh, lots of opportunities there. Uh, besides internships, um, we have a variety of um, Research opportunities, you can certainly, in some of the other capstone courses, um, do the sort of traditional um, research project, you know, write a paper, get some data, you know, have an interesting question that you want to look at. So you can do that in economics, for example, and students will, you know, write up their papers and then they'll present them at conferences. Um, we've had a number of students go to conferences with their professors whether it's in Chicago or uh, in Washington, D.C. So that's, that's a common uh, outlet as well. Um, if, if you're an athlete, uh, we know you love competition on the field, and we also can provide competition, an academic competition. Um, we, we put together uh, several teams to compete in different uh, business case competitions. Uh, People's Bank, and, uh, and a regional bank here in Marietta, that's headquartered here in Marietta, sponsors a uh, case competition. And we also send students to Pittsburgh to participate in the Tau Pai Phi case competition, where student teams, combinations of marketing, accounting, econ, finance students, are given some sort of case, a scenario that they have to research and present. And you're competing against teams from Big Ten schools, you know, like Ohio State and uh, uh, OU, Ohio University, uh, schools, West Virginia University, sure. and, you know, that, those hated uh, Purple Raiders <laughs> from Mount Union. You know, so you're competing against the same sort of schools that you might, uh, you know, on the uh, soccer pitch or the baseball field. Mm -hmm. So uh, lots, of, lots of activities to get involved with here. That's awesome. Very cool. Um, All Scholars Day was recent, um, and I know it was not the traditional All Scholars Day that we usually have, where students present on projects and things like that. Um, but do you, off the top of your head, can you think of any um, capstone projects that students presented on for their capstone this year? Um, well, in econ, we actually do our capstone presentations in the fall semester. That's when our okay. That up so uh, I don't think they presented this uh, during the uh, All Scholars Day, mm -hmm. and, and we we also uh, do internship presentations during that day. So okay. I, I I zoomed in and listened to uh, three or four of our students who had internships this semester on campus, and mm -hmm. so listen to them on, on that day. Is and uh, later in that day, actually, we we had our big. Uh, uh, scholarship and uh, honorary induction ceremonies on that day that we zoomed in, had parents come on and, and all the students. That was a first time for us, of course. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Very cool. Um, well, I see you have a couple more participants, so I'm just going to probably sound like a broken record, but if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to type in the chat box in the Q&A box, and I'll be happy to um, relay those questions to Dr. Della Meester, the chair of the business and economics department at Marietta. Um, okay, another question uh, that I have for you is, I know you've been teaching at, at Marietta for a little bit, but what is, what is your favorite, or I guess I should say, what do you enjoy most about teaching and working at Marietta College? Um, 
you know, I love being a professor. I mean, it's a great lifestyle. I mean, you know, very flexible hours and uh, being around young people keeps me young, uh, I think. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> um, just, you know, the, you know, the small classes, of course, I mean, that goes without saying, you know, that's, that's a great thing about a small school like Marietta College. Uh, we get to know the students. They get to know us for good or ill. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> um, you know what I really like? I, I, I like um, competing against students myself on the intramural uh, volleyball court <laughs> and volleyball. That's what I really like. I, I love beating the students on, on the court. Okay, so I have to ask because I was on uh, a volleyball team and it, the admission team was one game away from playing you guys in the championship. I know, I know. And we lost in the championship, you know, so I, <laughs> I was just going to ask, I never found out if you ended up beating that team or not. No, no, they, they were pretty good. And, you know, they we've were won good. In the past, but uh, okay. um, but the, the volleyball, that's another story. Uh, we've uh, won that tournament every year except for once, I think. The, the really? Faculty, you know, the faculty team, yeah. It's a dynasty then. That's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so funny. Um, okay, so with, uh, you know, the summer coming up here, um, and I know you oversee a large department with, like you said, 11 majors. So you have lots of students graduating out of the, the business and economic department in general, but what are some type of jobs that students have, have gotten recently um, or, you know, grad schools or graduate programs that they've gone to recently in the past three or four years? Now I'm going to look at my list. I'm gonna, I need to put my uh, spectacles on here. Um, <laughs> okay. You know, in terms of recent jobs, I mean, it's, it cuts across all sorts of different industry sectors. You know, for example, our land and energy management majors, mm -hmm. they're going to be going into, you know, sort of petroleum and energy fields. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's see, uh, we had folks that worked at Dominion Energy, several students that went into Dominion. Uh, we've had folks from, you know, uh, finance and accounting go into area ac accounting firms and, and the major accounting firms, Deloitte, uh, uh, Bank of America, KPMG, uh, uh, JP Morgan Chase. I mean, some big names that you'll all recognize. Caterpillar, for, sure. for example, um, uh, Ernst & Young, uh, State Farm Insurance, you know, places like that um, are, you know, coming to Marietta or you know, students are exploiting their networking opportunities here. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of graduate schools, we've had students go on to uh, econ PhD programs, uh, MBA programs, supply chain management programs, law schools, uh, schools like Case Western, Georgetown, Indiana, Ohio mm -hmm. State, OU, uh, and the University of Michigan, among, among others. Great, that's awesome. Well, I know there's a student, um, Kaylee, she works in our office. I know she just got a job, she's so excited. So I know she's coming out of the business, business department. So, um, very cool. So what, I know you mentioned that you like teaching, um, which is great, <laughs> um, but what kind of classes are you teaching this semester? Or what's, what's a normal, I don't know, I guess class schedule for you to be teaching semester to semester? Well, a, a, a typical faculty member at Marietta College has a four, course load every semester. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so right now as, as a department chair, I get a load reduction because of all the other duties, but sure. so I'm teaching three classes this semester, principles of microeconomics, a couple of sections of that, and then I'm teaching a, um, an envi environmental econ class. Cool. Uh, next fall, I'll, I'll be teaching uh, one of my favorite classes that's sports economics. That's, oh, uh, that would be really interesting. The, yeah, it is. It's a great class. That, that's a required course for the sport management major, um, but, but just an elective for the econ major. Okay. So, um, yeah, typically about three classes for a department chair every semester. Very good. Well, I'm a sport management, or I was a sport management major myself, so that sport and econ class sounds really interesting. So, <laughs> if you need an extra person to hang out in your class, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, hey, so looking into, I guess, finals, how are you helping your students kind of prepare for what I'm assuming is the first online finals that we've ever had at Marietta? Um, you know, how is that going to work? Well, I mean, 
we do have online classes in the summer. I, I've mm -hmm. taught online in the summer for, I don't know, over 10 years now. Okay, so this is so, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> so, so the, you know, some of the, our students do have that experience, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, the vast majority I'm sensing not, unless they are getting it in their CCCP classes mm -hmm. during high school, sure. I, I suspect some of them are. Um, most of the current crop here, you know, this is new, a new experience for them. Um, we, most of the faculty use our learning management system, which is called Moodle, mm -hmm. and uh, faculty use that to post materials online and to give quizzes. And so I've been using that for my exams. Uh, students have to log in to Moodle, and uh, we also require a, a proctoring service, proctor you among others, that will sort of, uh, you know, proctor these students while they take the exams. Um, but uh, so that's been a challenge for students, that aspect of it, from what I understand. But, um, you know, for, from my point of view, you know, all my lectures are recorded so students can go back and, you know, stop me, freeze me, you know, and, you know, and follow along. I, you know, I publish uh, my PowerPoint slides and other materials, homeworks and sample exams and things of that sort. Uh, I hold, you know, office hours online. So if you know, anybody wants to zoom in, you, they can ask questions. That's so, great. You know, lots of things we try to do to help people make this adjustment here. I was going to say, I mean, it sounds like you've really covered, I mean, pretty much everything in terms of being accessible. So that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You're, yeah. yeah. So if I'm a student and um, I really want to get involved in the business and economics department, what kind of organizations, clubs, events can I get involved with within your department? Yeah, another good question. Um, we have uh, several uh, student groups. There's mm -hmm. a, the, the sport management majors have a group called the Sport Business Association. And the land and energy management students have their uh, own organization as well, um, which, by the way, let me digress a moment for the land and energy management program. Mm -hmm. um, that is an accredited program at Marietta College. There, it's one of only, I think, 10 schools. We are only one of 10 schools across the entire North American continent that mm -hmm. is accredited by the American Association of Professional Landmen. Uh, there's only two schools east of the Mississippi, Marietta and uh, that school in Morgantown, <laughs> West Virginia University. We don't speak of that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, no, That's incredible. A, I don't think I knew in proximity to where we were. I had no idea. So, so you know, there, we have the, those two student groups. And uh, we, ha we have sort of another sort of general business student organization that mm -hmm. folks can get involved in too. Uh, beyond that, we have uh, the Economic Roundtable of the uh, Ohio Valley, of which mm -hmm. I, I serve as an officer on that organization. And we bring speakers to campus. The, the function of the ERT is to bring folks from outside the Marietta Parkersburg area here so that uh, you know, they can you know, sort of network and uh, educate our local folks, local business folks, on, on the top topics of the day here. Uh, now going forward, this is going to be interesting to see. I don't know how many people are going to be traveling over the next semester or not, you know, so that's going to be a challenge. But, you know, we've had Nobel Prize winners. We've had, you know, uh, uh, CEOs of major corporations come here, mm -hmm. professors from Ohio State, Harvard, and so on. And, and it's an opportunity for students to uh, to you know, meet with these folks, but more more importantly, I think it's an opportunity for students to meet local businessmen and women. Uh, you know, make contacts. You know, if you're looking for internships, these are the people that you want to rub elbows with. And so there are plenty of these sort of opportunities here. Uh, mm -hmm. We have uh, shadowing experiences that students can take advantage of, or mentor opportunities, mentorship opportunities. So there's lots of those type of opportunities for students to get involved and find your way. That's incredible. I, I think when I talk to a lot of families, you know, parents and students, um, I think a lot of 
families feel like if it's a small school, there's going to be smaller opportunities. And, you know, what I, especially after talking to folks like you, when we have our faculty updates in the, in the summer, I can confidently tell them, you know, it's not smaller opportunities, it's more accessible opportunities, you know? Um, so that's really yeah, I, mean, cool. I think students have to learn how to say no. I mean, that's, <laughs> I think that's, a, that's an important skill or, you know, a strategy to figure out. You have to say no because you gotta be jealous of your time mm -hmm. because you, your studies are number one. You know, if you're playing sports, if you have a part-time job, you know, there's, there's so much stuff to do that you really do have to prioritize. And saying no is okay. So okay. It's a hard lesson to learn, but it's so okay. <laughs> so what advice do you have for a student um, who's decided they want to attend Marietta in the fall? Maybe they know what they want to major in, maybe they don't, um, but what, what kind of advice would you give to that student coming into this experience? Just be open. I mean, you know, um, try things, experiment, sample, um, mm -hmm. you know, ask around. I mean, you know, the, the best advice you're going to get is probably from your peers, you know, so ask, you know, a sophomore, somebody who's been here. Uh, so ask students and, you know, don't be afraid of the professors, you know, uh, we don't bite, I swear, only on the volleyball court, you know, you <laughs> might uh, throw an elbow or something, maybe, sure. but, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, just be open and ask lots of questions. Mm -hmm. Very good. So why should a student, we get a lot of students who are undecided. I think the past Maybe not so much this year. I'm seeing students kind of be more ready to at least try, know where they want to start in terms of their major. Um, but I think of our past two years of our incoming class, I'm pretty sure undecided was our most popular major <laughs> of our incoming class. So if a student's undecided, you know, what would you tell them? Why, why should they choose to be a business major? And I know that's a really overarching, there's so many business majors, but you know, why should a student want to pursue something in the business and economics department? Well, I mean, I, you know, it's, it's, you know, frankly, I don't care what you major in, you know, you <laughs> come to Marietta College, you're going to get a liberal arts education, you know, you know, in our department, you know, you know, typical business, you know, you don't think of it as sort of liberal arts. Um, you know, we're, we advertise ourselves sort of as a contemporary liberal arts mm -hmm. college. But, you know, inside b and &E, I mean, we, we take this idea of the liberal arts uh, seriously, you know, that in terms of critical thinking, we want you to be able to uh, use data uh, to answer important questions. And so if, if that appeals to you, you know, then, um, you know, you can come to our department and, and do well, I think. Um, you, you sort of have to find out what you're good at. I mean, you know, a good economist will say, you know, that people have comparative advantages, that everybody has a special skill that they're relatively better than other folks at. And you have to find that out. You have to discover that yourself. And, um, you know, we're here to help guide you in that. But um, it's, it's what turns you on, you know, it's, you know, and that comes with being open, asking questions, you know, taking classes outside your comfort zone, perhaps. But, um, you know, just uh, discover what you do relatively better than anybody else. Absolutely. That's good advice. <laughs> um, well, for those who are kind of just now popping in, um, any other questions? I know we've kind of covered a lot of different things, um, but feel free to put any kind of questions in the chat. I think I've gone through all the questions that we've had so far. Um, so I do want to throw out there, if um, anybody has any questions after today, if you don't feel comfortable asking questions on the platform, that's totally okay. Uh, we do have a general admission email address. If you want to ask a question there, um, it's admit, A-D-M-I-T, at marietta.edu. Um, we are working remotely right now, so email is probably the best way to get a response very quickly um, because a few of us monitor that email. Um, I know we had a, a few in here who um, have been accept or a few students in the in the program who have been accepted. Um, so if you need more information on how to submit your deposit, um, you can do that at marietta.edu/accepted, and that will walk you through your next steps. 
Um, but like I said, if you need any information, we're happy to help. So feel free to reach out. Um, Dr. Delamister, I know it, this is over, there's no link to click on, but do you wanna go ahead and give your contact information in case anybody has any questions? Sure, sure. My uh, email address is greg.delamister um, at marietta.edu. So if you can, you can probably see my name here on, <laughs> Yes, screen, I can actually. see it. Yep. <laughs> Just take off the O R Y off of my name, my first name there. So it's Greg dot Delamister at Marietta dot edu. Um, my office phone number is seven four zero three seven six four six three zero. Perfect. Well, I do want to uh, mention that we have additional webinar series. We've been doing uh, a few webinar series every night for about a week now, um, but they will continue on Monday through, I believe, this Thursday. Um, so make sure you check that link and um, see what other series might interest you. I know we'll have a, a parent to parent panel and a, a student panel concluding our webinar series on Thursday. So I know those were some, some popular ones that, that families mentioned that they might want to do. So um, it's been great having you all with us. Dr. Delamister, thank you so much for being here. Um, oh, there's the email. I love that. <laughs> um, but have a great rest of the night, everybody. Stay safe out there, and hopefully we'll see you on another webinar later in the week. Thanks, everybody. And on campus this fall. And on campus this fall. Good point. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>